Hello and good afternoon from Seoul, Korea. How is Rose Shop Shoppers doing? What's up? It's a beautiful, beautiful skin skin day. I'm sorry, I was reading a skincare addict ID and I was like, it's a beautiful skin day. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Hi, beautifuls. Thank you so much for joining in. I missed you guys. Hello. We were gonna do live last Friday, but my car stopped in the middle of highway on Thursday evening, so I had to go and fix. So yeah, we couldn't make it last week, but, but voila, la, I'm here. Hi, Tachi. I'll be here today and I'll be here on Thursday. You know why? You know why? Kim Bui 7 KBU sisters and Sarang, hello, always thank you, Sarang. And Vanessa, do you guys know why I'm here on Tuesday? Such an early hour. I came right after my weather report at Arirang TV. Well, because, hi, hello, yes, girl, beauty, how are you? Good morning, it's a good afternoon here. And how are I hope I read your name right. Well, um, you know, Rose Shop is doing a, a cleansing promotion. This is my nephew's favorite facial gesture. When he, he when he sees me, this is the facial um, that he makes. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, because Rose Shop offers a great promotion of cleansing. So we are going to talk about a lot of cleansing products uh, with you girls. Woo woo. And just, just for the heads up, this week is going to be cleansing. And next week we're doing a toner, I believe. So um, we are going to do some promotion. So yeah, isn't that exciting? Hi, yeah, so... Okay, ladies, but first I need to know what kind of cleansing products that you guys usually use uh, on a regular basis. As for me, I actually have like four different cleansing products. I have cleansing oil, I have cleansing milk, I have cleansing balm. Um, oh yeah, so I have three. <laughs> um, well, actually it depends on my skin conditions, High Skin Project, I do use a different cleansing product. Is this the case for you girls? Yeah, so you use a form cleanser. Good job. Great job. So, so uh, you know, we are not only going to talk about the products of cleansing, but we are going to actually talk about how to do a cleansing massage, that one minute massage with some cleansing tips that I learned from YouTuber, like dermatologists and massagers. So hopefully this is not only helpful for you to find the right products, but also help to do that, you know, spend that one minute smart cleansing together. Exciting. High five. If you can hear me high five okay her skin project cleansing oil bomb gel and form depends on my skin yeah me too me too how old are you her skin project i'm sure you're like about my age i can feel that because like when you get older sorry girls i'm not that old but still uh, you would want to have like a variety of cleansing products. It's really difficult to stick with the one product, right? Hey, Candy, your sister. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So cleansing, um, first cleanse or double cleanse. Usually, um, well, I, I used to do just the first cleanse because my skin got so much drier now. I'm 36 years old, so my skin used to be, I have like a pimple scars that I will show you in a bit, but it gets drier and drier as I get older. That's why I own so many and I got to use a different products. But first of all, um, let, we want to talk about this. Okay. So some of you might say, Oh, I just wear a sambla, right? Oh, you're 27. I'm sorry. You're a lot younger, but you're smart, girl. You're very smart. Let's talk about depending on your skin type. Okay. Let's say, you know, uh, well, I mean, for this. Okay. So if you're using just a sunblock and is, this is applying to a gentleman too. You, you, you're in your thirties too. Okay. Great. Okay, uh, if you're just wearing a sunblock or if you just wear a very light amount of foundation or a BB cream, almost 40. Me? Are you telling me that I'm almost 40? 
Yes, I'm girl beauty. Oh, that's mean. Now you ruined my day. Almost 40 means me or you? Okay. Uh, where was I? Okay, even though you're just wearing a sunblock, uh, or just a light BB cream, or even just a sunblock, we still need to double cleanse. If you're using SPF 30 or above, be sure to double cleanse. That's what dermatologists are saying. Hello! Hello, Cole! Hello from Colombia! Hello from Seoul! My cellar water is for, you know, sensitive skin, oily skin, or acne prone, or for the ladies who wears a very light makeup. Uh, you can use micellar water, but we'll talk this about it in a bit, right? From the B Lab, it's on sale on Rose Shop. And there is, yes, Go Beauty is 40. Okay, I thought she meant me. Sorry, very sensitive when it comes to age. Cleansing gel is for oily, acne, and sensitive skin. Um, cleansing gel is, yeah, a lot of dermatologists actually recommend for those who are suffering from acne too. And cleansing lotion and milk is actually the ones that, um, great for all skin type and ladies who wears a light makeup. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yes, girl, beauty. I'm just messing with you, girls. Don't worry. So cleansing lotion and milk. Well, CMP's cleansing perfecta is more like cleansing milk to cleansing gel formula that we can, you know, use for all skin types. So we'll talk this about it shortly as well. And there is a cleansing oil for dry skin. Yeah, I get to use cleansing oil during a winter time because it gets super, super. Hey, you know what? You guys can capture it. Hey, girls, capture it. I'll just hold it. You guys can capture it. I'll give you three seconds. I'll just talk, but you guys can capture it. Okay? So cleansing oil is for dry skin. And as I said, during autumn or around this time when dry weather advisories are issued, I get to use a lot of cleansing oil these days because it gets so dry or when I'm wearing a thick makeup and I want to get rid of it all at once, I use cleansing oil. But they says the dermatologists are saying rinse it off thoroughly because it can block your pores and causing troubles, of course. And there's a cleansing cream. I don't think many of us are using cleansing creams that much anymore, right? It's a super oily, super oily. So I don't even get to use a cleansing cream anymore. But cleansing creams are actually for dry skin. Uh, ladies who is wearing a heavy makeup. But, you know, of course not for, it's like, a, it's the, like, a, it's, it's like a vice versa, I guess. Like, a, it's like a one flip way, right? But there can be, Okay, get ready to capture again. Another document, capture girls. Okay, there can be dry and sensitive or oily and sensitive, right? <laughs> Just type in what dermatologists were saying on YouTube in Korean. So uh, they're saying, you know, dry sensitive skin, lotion cream type cleansers will be good. Well, I would definitely say this is for dry and sensitive skin. The CMP Perfecta one, Cleansing Perfecta. And for oily and sensitive skin, you should get gel form type cleanser and avoid oil-based cleanser. Well, actually, that is also for this one. So this one, CMP's um, Cleansing Perfecta is good for all sorts of sensitive skins, dry and oily skins. But if you're wearing a heavy makeup, you might not like it. I'll show you. Okay. Did you guys capture it? Okay. Oh my gosh. So you ice cube massage. Yeah, that's what one of the massagers, facial massager was recommending during the summertime around your pores and butterfly areas. Oh my goodness. So you know the tip. But, um, dermatologists were actually saying that it doesn't really help that much to tighten up your pores. So I don't know who's right, but if it works for you, stick with it. You know, I think like doctors, they don't know everything, right? So uh, if you think it's right, if you like your mother's recipe or your own recipe, just go with it. 
Okay, skincare holic. Oh, a lot of skincare experts are here with me, so I'm very, very nervous. Very nervous. So now let's talk about what Roshan offers. They have all sorts of great cleansing products here. And we are going to do the cleansing shortly together. Well, there's a B Lab cleansing water, right? Very light, water based. It's great for sensitive skin as well. Uh, these are the first cleansers. These are the first cleansers. But, you know, oil types for the heavy makeup and dry skin. And this is suitable for all skin type. Oh, yes, for beauty says. Um, I use an oil-based cleanser and they feel good on the skin, especially in the heavy makeup. Good! Oh my God, girl, you're helping me out. If you're in Korea, next time we should do the live broadcast together on the cleansing. I'm sure you have a lot to share with us. Thank you. Yeah, just share all the experiences, girls. We all have, even though we have all dry skin, all different kinds of dry skin. So, yeah, it's all about finding the right one for you. CMP, oh, these are the second cleansers now. So after you massage about less than one minute for the first cleansers, you want to wipe it all off with the second cleansers. Now, this is supposed to help, again, from the CMP Barrier uh, Sarah Cleanser. As you can hear, it helps to, you know, strengthen your skin barrier here. And there is a face shop, always popular one from the rice bran. Oh, there's a little bit of like a rice bran inside. So it also helps to peel off a little bit. And there is a Sika cleansing pump for sensitive skin. So if you have a sensitive skin, this is the set that you want to go for, for the first cleanser and second cleansers. Okay. And this is for everyday use for Dokdo Round Lab. This is like super popular these days for everyday gentle mild. Okay, you've been seeming holding this. And now let me show you how well they can cleanse. Okay, so cleansing tips, girls. Okay, cleansing tips. First, you always want to wash your hands with the water, the water right next to me. So wash your hands thoroughly, right, with the soap, because we are about to touch our face now. So, and as you can see, I'm wearing a heavy makeup. Usually with this, you want to get rid of your eye makeup with the eye makeup remover. But what I'm going to do here is, um, I'm actually going to use the cleansing oil to get rid of all at once. The round lab one, oh, this one. Okay, I'll show you in a bit. Okay, so you want to uh, pop in cleansing oil or cleansing gel, that anything that you'd want right and then what you want to do is you want to massage onto your palms so you warm up your palms before applying right directly onto your face so you warm your palm with either cleansing oil or cleansing milk cleansing lotion except the cleansing water right except the micellar water right and you warm your palm and then less than one minute you want to finish it up really quickly hi julie and they says from bottom to up. Julie, how are you? From bottom to up. And then there's a skin, uh, what's it called? There's a skin, uh, skin lines. What was the word? I'm sorry. There was a skin line that we want to go for. What was the word? Vocabulary. Oh, there you are. Where was it? Oh. A bottom to top along the face tension line. So this is what you want to do. Let me pump one more time. This is what you want to do. Go circle and make sure you do like this. <sighs> like cheetahs. And you hold your jaws like this. And then you circle around. Ready? Okay. You circle around. And then go all over a new massage. Because jaw lines are very important. The one of the massagers were saying on the YouTube. So, <laughs> okay. But you see, I have a sensitive skin, so I, I don't, I can't massage for that long. So I have to really hurry up around like this, right? And for your lip lines, you want to go circle. Like circle. 
this is your weapon, girls, around your circle, circles. And then you go all the way on the top for the forehead and like go back and forth like this. Just like really quickly. I do it every, I do it every single day and it's really helpful. And around your nose, uh, they said, you know, massage around your nose to get rid of those black hats and white hats. So go really, uh, you can be a little rough on your side head, side along your nose, right? Like this. And then for your, my eyes, I'm just going to get rid of my eyes with this. Because cleansing oils, this is the reason I use cleansing oils, because they get rid of everything. Okay. Really quickly. And don't forget to massage your jaw lines, girls, okay? In less than one minute. Really important. Don't make sure it doesn't go over one minute. That's what dermatologists were saying. That's what the facial massagers are saying, too. Okay, and then you'll want to wash it with the warm water. They only got cold water here, but at home, make sure you use a lukewarm water. Not cold water, not hot water. They're going to make your skin dry. So make sure you use warm, look warm water, girls. Yeah, you guys should do this technique. It's really helpful. Let me wash my face. Whoa, it's cold. It's cold. Okay. All right. It's cold. Um, I also get to use cleansing oils when I wear a lot of makeup after my like broadcasting. But on the weekends, I don't get to wear this much of makeup. So um, I use cleansers instead. Okay, so this is what you want to do. And then, you know, you know, tonight after you do your cleansing, time is up. <laughs> Yeah, you guys should definitely, but less than one minute. Remember, uh, you will feel the, you will notice the different skin textures on your skin. I promise you. I've been doing this for about a year now and it's really helpful. Instead of just, you know, just wash cleansing oil and blah, and wash it off or wipe it off the tissues. Do this. Do the massage. We're going to do the technique one more time. So don't worry. Aha, uh -huh, it looks like I'm going to fight and prepare a new technique to beat all enemies. All, all my enemies! The pores, the black hats, the white hats, get rid of all the makeup. And I, I mean, after all, at night, this is what we do. After working hard for eight to nine hours, our foundations are here. And we just want to get rid of it, everything, and get ready for our, you know, skincare routine, right? So cleansing oil, and then you can still feel that if you use a cleansing oils, these two are both are fine. Just get it whichever you like. These both are fine. <laughs> After you get to use it, uh, you can feel a little bit of those slippery sliding feelings that oil, you know, because you use the cleansing oil. So we want to get rid of like a second cleansing. Besides, I was wearing a heavy makeup. If you don't get to uh, take off your makeup well, this is what it can happen. I had like really bad style on my eyes and it can cause troubles. Yes, I'm going to do the double cleansing now. Yeah, I'm going to do the double cleansing. Um... Uh, one of the lady says she's interested in round lap dok dok cleansers. Um, uh, yeah, everything. Cause in Korea, if that's on sale, most of the products, you know, the doctors were saying like, you know, you should get uh, anti-inflammatory ones that get the second one that helps to, you know, strengthen your skin barrier. Most of the cleansers, especially these three, uh, they're already qualifying those fulfillments of what doctors are saying. So, you know, it's just about picking the right one. Um, this one is more of like the peeling. So this cleanser from Face Shop is recommended for the oily skin or once a week who wants to get rid of those uh, dead skin cells. Okay, so let's go for this Dokdo Round Lap. So squeeze a little bit. The same. And uh, one of the doctor dermatologists were saying, uh, do we need 
like uh, the devices, but she says there's no need. Our hands can do everything. So yeah. And then one second, let's do one more. Let's do one more, okay? So, oh, and the one of the massagers were also saying, even though you have, even though you have like heavy makeup on, don't try to rub it too hard. Because that's not good for you. That's not good for your skin. Because we can always do the double cleansing. So yeah, around your jaw lines. But very gently and softly, right? Go like this way. This way. Go this way. This way. And around your little, like, here, like this. Go like this way. This way. And this way. This way. <laughs> and go this way. And this way in your forehead done and then just rinse it off with the warm lukewarm water and this is Tokto Lev one um it can create a lot of bubbles if you want if you have a bubble maker's home you can do that but not really necessary necessarily right so very mild form of cleansing you you girls you should guys should totally do that you girls should totally do that but remember, it's a one minute girls. If you guys want to do it more than one minute with this techniques, um, you could do that. You can do that with your other cream. But cleansing oil or the cleansing gel, just less than one minute, remember. Okay. Wash my face thoroughly once again. A lot of eye contact with no makeup on today. It's cold. But you use lukewarm water at home. Okay. <laughs> sorry, girls. Sorry, you guys have to watch me washing my face. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> I that for all this information. Oh, I'm sorry. What do you mean, girl? Okay. Just checking my face. Make sure that I look okay in front of my camera. Um, if you can actually get to see me closely, I should have used a eye maker remover because I have a lot of like a bling bling shadow that I use today. So eye maker removers are also very helpful. But um, if you don't wear as much makeup as I am, right? Eye makeup remover is not necessary, but you know, I use eye makeup remover too. Yeah. And best part of cleansing oil, I think. Yeah, do you guys like the technique? Oh, happy Ramadan from Kuwait. Hello, happy Ramadan, congratulations. Okay, it feels so much refreshing. And then you do your toner and and bills and other stuff on your face okay excuse my face girls it's a cleansing day so that's the best look that i can show you girls hope it's okay just gonna apply a little bit of a serum and then gonna wear all our makeup again to show you how well they can cleanse okay let's have my dress is so pretty oh simply okay what do you think not bad Stanley, it's, it's a little bit short though. <laughs> I'm a little bit short. Cause I love pink. My cell phone case is pink. My bag is pink. My shoes are pink. So if you bump into me in the elevator, you will be like, what's up with her? She's, 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 she's crazy. Cause every color that I like is pink. So thank you. Girls, if you guys live close to me, I'll let you borrow. I'll let you borrow. I have a lot of pink dresses. Okay, you're naturally beautiful, so I don't think you should need to play this product. Throw on someone else who's really issuing. Oh my god, who is this? Who is this nicest person on the world? In the world? Rex Padel? Can I like send him a gift or something, please? Can I give him a gift? <laughs> I wanna send do you live in Korea? I'll personally send you a gift. Okay. That's that common. 
is great that a lady told me that I look like my 40. Okay, you know what? It's okay. So, TT Lee, Isoral, what kind of cleansing products do you guys use? I mean, do you guys have like other ones that you guys can recommend it to me too? Because it's not like I know everything. So if you guys let me know, I can I can definitely try on. Okay, let's start with B Lab cleansing water. Even a gentleman can you need to use a a cleansing product. We can talk about other things too. Okay, next third because Thursday I'll be here again at 4 p.m. So um, Thursday, I'll wear another pink dress. I have like thousands of pink dresses. I'll wear other tone of pink dress. Blab matcha, B lab matcha is amazing as well. Oh, you know what? I'll look. I'll 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 look for it. Thank you. Cause okay, thank you for the suggestion, Nura. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I'm wearing a foundation. Let's say I'm wearing a light. My shadows. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is just to show you how well they can cleanse. Remember my launching day? I was talking about LG Code Glow Color. Okay, girls. The Sting doing micellar water. Yeah, this is a cleanser. This is eyeshadow. <laughs> this is, wow, I look a lot different from the very beginning. It's okay. This is what I do. Okay. For the micellar water, girls, this is B Lab. I'm sorry, just cleansing water. Why would you want a name like this? I'm sorry, just cleansing water. Sorry for what? That's what I want to say. Okay, somebody's in the mood. <laughs> okay, so let's see. When you're applying a cleanser or cleansing water, you know what? Actually, um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of eyeliners too, just to just to show. Yeah, let's see if B Lab Micellar Water can handle the eye makeup too. Just you, know, you put it on the top. Actually, <laughs> we <laughs> we have to wait for about 10 to 15 seconds. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, after fifteen seconds, you will want to gently wipe it. Let's see. Huh. Of course, not for eyeliners, but I think they're good. They're okay. Right? All the shadows and foundations have gotten rid of. With B Lab Cleansing Water, it's a super sale for three dollars and forty nine cents at Rose Shop, girls. It smells like smells like toner. Smells really nice. But to be honest, I am not the biggest fan of my cellar water because I don't like wiping it out. I just want to get done with it in like 10 seconds. So I'm not a big fan of my cellar water, but ladies, there are a lot of ladies love my cellar water. If you girls are using my cellar water, why do you guys use it? Can you guys convince me to use my cellar water, please? Can you girls convince me for me? Okay, $3.49 for b Lab Micellar Water. Sorry, I'm just cleansing water. Okay, and now CMP, this is a really good one. Um, this is good, it's good for uh, sensitive skins, oily skins. If you're first time of using cleansing products, the CMP's Cleansing Perfecta should be Good. Uh, let me apply more shadows, and just just to show you how well it can cleanse eyeliners and eye uh, eye shadows. Well, actually, if you're looking for a very strong cleanser, if you're looking to wash off all the heavy makeup, eh -eh. CMP is a very gentle and mild for everyday use, even for a gentleman. And and about this one. Will that remove SPF? Of course, all of this removes SPF, sunblocks. Those SPF, of course. 
Good question. Thank you. Okay, and this is what we want to do. Very gentle on the weekends when you're wearing a light makeup. This is more CMP Perfecta one. Um, this is more of the everyday use. So, if you're actually looking for like uh, eye makeup removers and all that, this will have a little bit of leftovers, right? But SPF and BB creams and foundation will be no problem. You can wash it off in a running water, or if you have a tissue, you can just wipe it out. See, just wipe it out. Just wipe it out. SPF foundation BB cream is good for CMP Perfecta. And Sarang says, uh, it would be better to cleanse by form and then by water. Oh, SPF, SPF sunblocks you mean, right? SPF use, if you use a sunblock, we still need a double cleansing. If you meant by TT Lee, can we just use the first cleanser? for, or just a one cleanser for sunblock? The answer is no, as the Sarang says. Even though you're using a sunblock, we need a second cleansing. Double cleanse. Thank you. And of course, that can cleanse it really well. Oh, by the way, this one is on sale for 30, uh, 5% off for $13.59. So if you never use a cleansing products, this can be used both men and female, so you can share with your husband. Um, light makeup, gentle makeup, all skin type, it's great. So on the weekends, I'll definitely go for when I wear lighter makeup. And besides, we don't wear that much makeup because of the face mask these days, right? We've been wearing face masks for so long now. Um, this can be a good first cleanser to start out with. And of course, there is a cleansing oil that gets rid of everything. Okay, um, I just showed you of how well it can cleanse the cleansing oil. So, one more time. The scent, oh, okay. Just applying a little bit of a shadow here. Just the scent. You know, I'm really bad at telling you guys about the scent. Smells like some sorts of flower. <laughs> like a lily, but. Um, just to give you a comparison, B Lab has a stronger scent than CMP ones. So, yeah, sorry. I wish I would, could be a little bit more accurate, but no, yeah. It smells like flower, but not like giving you headache flower. Yeah, 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 yeah. A uh, face to shop cleansing oil for $6.50, girls. I mean, face shop is what a lot of us are using. I, I, I get the cleansing oils, you see? Cleansing oils that gets rid of everything. So I, I like cleansing oils to just get rid of everything, right? Even though when I'm wearing a heavy makeup, yeah, they're like, so quick, and we don't have to wipe it at all with the water or war the tissues. So you just wipe it out, and they turn into a little bit milky, milky textures, and then you just wipe it off. But I can tell you, the face to shop cleansing oil is definitely more like oily, 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 that residue compared to the CMP one. This is lesser oily. This is more of the softer texture to finish up, whereas cleansing oil types are a little, a little slippery. Definitely, definitely slippery. Definitely. So if you are not a very big fan of those slippery, slippery, the, the leftover fillings, uh, CMP one is good. Okay. And um, 
you guys remember, if you are suffering from acne, or if you have a very sensitive skin, or on a very dusty day, because guys, have you guys been to Korea? We have four seasons, dramatic, from 40 degrees Celsius in Seoul to minus 20 degrees in winter, dry, humid, with the rainy seasons. So the weathers are crazy. I think that's why there are so many Korean like beauty care and skincare products too. And there are, we don't, the population wise, which is not that much, but still Korean girls are so picky because there are so many products that we can choose from. So sensitive skin, no matter what kind of sensitive skins that you have, um, these two are the ones that I want to recommend for skin barriers to strengthen your skin barriers. For this Gila ones are very smooth, very smooth. Whereas the CMP one, they both have like anti-inflammatory as great for skin barrier ones. But this is a more um, good up, good up texture. How do you, how do you do say that? This is more like the, like a marshmallow. This is melted marshmallow, mashed mash. Melted marshmallow, whereas the CMP one's a little bit like a solid, more solid one. And CMP one smells more of soap, soap like a very smooth, gentle soap, whereas the Sika ones smells like tea tree because there is a Sika extract in it for this so sensitive skin will be good for a gala cleansing form yeah both are just very well second cleanser whereas the cmp ones is very solid type of cleansers that you could massage all over on your nose, on your chin area that worries you the most, and just wash it all over. Yeah. Sensitive skin, definitely recommend this to you. And gentle, mild use for this. And once a week, we would want to just massage all over our decollete lines too. Right? Always massage your decollete lines from bottom to up when you've got time or once a week is good enough for, you know, the deep cleansing. And after massaging it, just cleanse it well all over your face. And oh, it's so soft. Both are very soft. That's the one thing that I've noticed. Oh, I have a dry skin, but so sensitive too. Which is better for me? Thank you for the question, Julie. Okay, I'll get back to you right after I get rid of all these cleansing forms. Okay, I have a great, great answers for you. Because when I was studying, watching on YouTube, there was people asking the same question. And this is what dermatologists were saying. Uh, I have a dry and sensitive skin, so you will need lotion and cream type cleansers, right? Okay, so I would say, mm -hmm. dry and sensitive for not too oily, not 100% water-based, but the CMP Perfecta one is definitely good for sensitive and dry and for all skin type, but especially for uh, sensitive and dry, as it says right here, lotion or cream type cleansers instead of using an oil type, Julie. So um, out of this product, I'll say this one is great for your first cleansers. And if you're also looking for the second one, I would say, Huh? But depends on how sensitive it is. Okay? Depends on how sensitive. These two cleansers, the second cleansers, are both good for uh, skin barriers, strengthening skin barriers. So I would go for either one or two. Right, Julie? But remember, this one is more smells of like the Sika one. So if you're more worried about the sensitive skin, that this is the one that you would want to go for. The Gila one. CMP one, Julie, is a little bit harder 
It's a very solid type. So make sure you gently massage all over with this. Yeah. Smells. Yeah, smells now it's all mixed up my palm. So I can't really smell it anymore, but they all smell fine. <laughs> they all smell fine, girls. All right. Okay, okay, let's do one more of cleansing all over our face. This time, let me just wear a makeup over my face, and then I'll show you a cleansing massage tips once again. Just like, okay, any type of foundation, you just apply all over. I'll be really quick. Oh, and you wear a foundations. Leave these lines, right, for the contour. Oh, I hope it was helpful, Julie. <laughs> I hope it was helpful. But I just printed out and I just wrote down of what dermatologists were saying in common in massagers, right? And I'm sharing with you girls today. Okay, like this. And then I'll have my eyebrows. Okay, so this is the day you just wear sunblock and very light makeup. And you get home at night and I'm gonna get rid of it. Remember what I said, when you guys do the first cleansing, always starting out with washing your face thoroughly with the soap. Wash your hands. Wash your hands thoroughly. And then squeeze the products on your palm. Gently massage and make sure you feel this warmness around your palm and go all over your face from bottom to up. Okay. So we're going to go first until apply all over and then make sure you get ready for this and jaw lines. Don't forget your jaw lines. Go rolling, 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 rolling. Remember rolling, 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 rolling. Less than one minute, rolling, 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 rolling real quickly. On your forehead like this. So we don't need a special weapon, girls. Just roll it all over. And for your pores and blackheads and white hats here, go like here in this way too, right? Oh, you can press a little bit harder on your nose. I guess, a little bit harder. But gently for the rest. Don't forget your jaw lines. And if I'm wearing, like, sometimes we are topless, right, girls? Um, you will want to do a decolleté lines, too. It's more you touch it and give you a massage to your skin. It's great. It reflects. Because sometimes when you get a massage for, like, smaller faces or skin tightening, they give you a big massage first, right? Because they're all, like, connected. So if you actually get to do it on your face and your decolleté, decolleté lines... That's great too. Beware your nail. What up? What? What's? Oh, oh! These are these are fine. Thank you, girl. Okay, and we just did it with the CMP one. I can swipe it out with the water, but I just want to show you how well it actually cleanses on my face. So. You can gently massage with your tissues or you can directly go to your water. But I what usually, yeah, you see all my foundations. I should have used the cotton pad. You've never seen that rolling method before? Oh, really? Was it helpful, Jesse? 
Was it helpful? Because, I mean, we can't be like a professional. So I learned from... Um, I had a chance to interview, well, actually on the broadcast with the lady who owns this skin clinic for the last 20 years. And this was the helpful tip that she was telling. You guys never seen it? Oh. Well, let's see. Yeah. Because there was... I learned from... I just wanted to prove it to you. Never seen... <laughs> You guys, okay, um, I was on air with this lady. She's a skin therapist. She has on her skin shop. And she told me about this cleansing massage tips that we could use on a daily basis. She actually only tells to her customers, but I had a chance to learn. And I'm sharing with you ladies. Hopefully it's helpful. Okay. Okay, and then... So don't tell anybody, but you guys keep it for yourself. But you will definitely feel the better skin texture on the next day. That I can tell you. Sometimes, I well, I told her when I was having an interview with her, I told her, um, my pimples just, you know, faded away. And she's like, yeah, it can be pretty helpful if you do it, if you can get to do it every day. And, um, uh, you know, I don't think I allowed to show her face actually so um yeah so she was telling me about these tips about decolte lines so yeah i can show you for long but yeah the, i learned from her it's only for her um customers but now we know so let's keep it secret yeah okay it should be okay yeah and then don't forget you wash it off with a little warm up water and then um <laughs> And, uh, which one was it? Yeah, the CMP, this very good up, good up one for. So don't try to do on your face, but rather you want to take care of everything on your palm. And then, like, be really quick. See? Your jaw lines. Roll it all over this way, girls. Outside. Form your forehead. And around, gently around your eyes. Gently around your eyes. Okay? Please try this. And on Thursday, we meet up again. And you guys tell me how you felt different. Okay? How you felt different. But make sure you do it less than one minute. So, um, you guys want to like practice before. So like you would go like, okay, roll it, 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 roll it. Very, very close, very like carefully around my eyes and around my lips. Very roll it, very carefully. And then if you've got some time on your decollete lines too, here, right? I'm just touching my face for the last 40 minutes. I'm <laughs> sorry, it's not really entertaining. But yeah, girls, okay. And then just wash it all off. But it feels so soft though. Yeah, it's so soft, girl. Kawi, good to see you, girl, once again. It's so soft though. Look one water. You will feel the difference. I can confidently tell you, ladies. You guys should really try tonight. I know it's so soft. And I, to be honest, I didn't really do the double cleansing. I just did the first cleansing. But now I can get to do the double cleansing. It's like... It's so much softer. And I thought... Because double cleansing could make my skin dry, right? Because it gets rid of so many... Like, it's too much, but actually, uh, the products, the, most of the products that are, are in the markets are now a lot higher quality. I can definitely tell.
Oh, it feels so refreshing. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, one of the skin therapists was saying, and the dermatologist were actually saying too, the reason we have to keep it in a one minute, because if it can get longer, it could actually absorb the back into our skin. So, um, yeah, that's what they were both were saying. Skin therapist and dermatologist, they were both saying, if you can go over, like I watched like five YouTubes and all the dermatologists and skin experts, they were saying that it should be less than one minute because it could like absorb back into our skins. And that's what we don't want. Imagine like these leftover makeup absorbing back into the skin. That's the last thing we want, right? So make it quick, make it quick. You guys want to go and wash your face now, right? But Nancy Paris, that's an, such an amazing question. Thank you. Yeah, I wish I'm a dermatologist or skin expert so that I can tell you guys um, a little bit more in detail. But I'll, because uh, I have it until Thursday, so I'll make sure to watch more skin experts YouTube and see what they are saying about cleansing. So we can talk more about it on Thursday. Okay, hopefully it was a helpful. And Anna Paula's Navas 7 says, Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you for coming back. Oh, she keeps coming back even though we can't ship to uh, Peru. So, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, thank you always for coming back. I hope so, too. Damn, cool. I think it's because of COVID-19, right? Ooh. Yeah, I'll do the more study for you girls, and then I'll, I'll come back. Hopefully, it's helpful. Okay, so question... So question, <laughs> I'm asking, asking you back. Okay, so what's the smart cleansing tips, girls? Hello from Ecuador. Hello, lady uh, from Korea. This is Ji Hyun. Okay, which skin type is suitable for cleansing oil? <laughs> I'm asking you back. Which skin is suitable for cleansing oil? You guys tell me. <laughs> you guys tell me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is... BB cream and sunblock. Yeah, that's what they were saying. For very light and gentle and mild. For CMP Perfecto. Does any lady have an answer? Which skin is good for cleansing oil? <laughs> this is new. Asking back. To <laughs> good job. Nancy, good job. Oil is... Jessie. No, Jesse, Jesse. Cleansing oil is for dry skin. You have a combination skin and like using cleansing oil. You know what? I have a combination skin too. I think we all do. Like always oily in here, but dry in here. But overall, you have those like dryness but when you wear a face mask you know, we are stuck in here so it's a sauna here so it's like oh. but um cleansing oil like these two are fine but as you guys saw me when i get to rub my skin you know it get burned out so um i try not to use like micellar water but that's just me because i don't i don't like wiping it out with the with the cotton pad but that's just me girls Jesse. Oh, you have your wish box. <laughs> what have you, what do you have in your wish box, girl? Anna Paula, what do you have on your wish box? I wonder. What do you have? 
<laughs> Let's share so I can get some for myself too. We I we always want some more, right? So let's share. Okay, guys, ready to capture smart cleansing tips? Oh, that's the vice versa. I'll share this. Yeah, you girls, you, you guys can capture this. Capture. Capture. Did you guys see it okay? Okay. Oh, Julie says sometimes cleansing oil makes itchy, don't you? Oh, not really. I think, Julie, you are perhaps having a very stressful day. Or, um, sometimes our skin gets really itchy, right, Titili, too? Well, before period or on a very dusty day, especially in Korea, because we do get like really bad dust scent here. So my skin gets really like itchy and scratchy, you know, but you really haven't done anything differently. Well, I think just our body condition, Julie. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's really because of the products. But to be honest, if you have guys, if you guys are using any products from Roadshop, they're all good very good qualified, like very good quality of products. So, um, you know, I just wanted to share that these great products were on sale. So um, if, if it's time for you to get it, I just wanted to, sh to share uh, what Roshep can offer. But any of the products that you guys have bought it already from Roshep and if you like it, stick with it. That's fine. Um, yeah, but if you're new and if you're looking for something new, then these are some of the choices that I made for a day. But, you know, most of the products that they're selling at Rosha, even though I didn't get to bring it today, they're all good, very good quality products. So, yeah. How long is the sale? Titili, um, for the cleansing products, they're on sale until Friday. Until Friday. Just for the heads up. Uh, next week, we're going to do the toners. And uh, Sarang is actually making some special promotions for you girls. So, um, yeah, each week we'll have a special promotion. So hopefully, I'll, so I'll be really busy studying for those products and how we can make the most of it. For most of it. So, yeah, those will be the ones that we'll be talking about for the following weeks. Okay, so before I go, before I go, let me do the motion. Get get your hands ready, girls. Put your cell phone somewhere, right? And get ready. So first, what's the first step? Wash your hands thoroughly with the soap, okay? And get the first cleansers, these. So for oily skin, would you recommend, just Jesse asked the question, sorry. For, for oily skin, would you recommend a cleansing balm instead? How oily is your skin? I mean, that's a really difficult question, right? For all, like, even though we say oily, everybody has like different like oily types. So, um, do you get breakouts frequently? Or, uh, yeah. Anna Paula wrote down everything. Uh, zip cool toner, matcha forming cleanser, Ilyun ceramide cream. Oh, you really haven't got anything that I recommended today. <laughs> That's fine. No problem. <laughs> it's okay. So oily skin, like how oily? I consider my skin oily for the like, here but like dry in somewhere else so jesse can you be a little bit more like accurate okay so so after washing your face uh get your first cleansers right oil or cleansing milk or cleansing gel not with the cleansing water though mm -mm. not for cleansing water but for the rest of cleansing products and then what you want to do is you want to massage into your palm and then you feel those like warmness that warmth around your palm and then like 
you know, just apply all over your face first of all, and then get your weapons ready. And remember, your jaw lines are here. So you will support your jaw lines with your thumb like this, and then roll from the bottom. Going all the way up. And for your forehead, forehead, circle around your forehead forehead like do you see my technique going down and circle around your lips very gently and around your lips very gently and your eyes softly around your eyes softly around your eyes and your nose a little bit harder on your nose damn you black heads and white heads want to kill you all a little bit harder and then you come don't forget your jaw lines finishing less than one minute and then just rinse it off with the lukewarm water okay I have a combination but my forehead gets somewhat oily no a lot of not a lot of breakouts uh, I think your skin is about like similar to mine so, may I ask how old you are and where you are from, if you don't mind? If you don't mind, if I could get to know about your weather conditions and your age. Yeah, it's all about the speed and technique, ladies. Kawi. Um, I, I have a cleansing balm too. Uh, not a lot of breakouts. Cleansing balm is good too, Jesse. Well, actually. Mm. Uh, for oil, for oily skin, do you would you recommend a cleansing balm? You know, it it depends. Like, like, uh, is there like a particular cleansing balm? Oh, okay. Hello from Georgia. My good friend lives in Georgia. Hello there. Uh, what cleansing balm? Have you used a cleansing balm before? I'm like really serious because I want to help. I want to be helpful, Jesse. That's why I'm like thinking how oily your skin is. Georgia, also oh, okay. Georgia, uh, weather conditions very mild and decent, right? You guys have a very breezy weather conditions there. Um, uh, what cleansing balm? Oh, well, like cleansing balm. Even though there's, we're talking about cleansing balm. Because there's a different percentage of oil and water-based ingredients. So, ah, uh, vanilla co. Okay. Like, vanilla is more of, like, the oil extracts in it. So, uh, I think it's okay for you to use, stick with that cleansing balm from the vanilla co. And, um, do you ever get, like, dryness on your, like, here, too? On your chins? But if I were you, Jesse, because you're about my age. Oh, well, no, we are same age. Uh, yeah, cleansing balm is fine. Yeah, you can stick with the cleansing balm. Um, and also if you want to add, do you use any other products? I'm sorry, I'm just being like, I want to be helpful. That's why. Scenario. Yeah, like me. I think you use, well, it's very good. My skin is sensitive and works pretty well. You see, unique cleansing oil. Yeah, I told you, most of the Korean cleansing products are good quality. Most of them are like, they're like, they're all, they're a little bit different, but they're all for like skin barriers and they're, they're good qualities. Um, rather these three, <laughs> rather these three, yeah. Chin area, yes. Yeah, I think you can stick with it, with it. Cleansing balm. I also use cleansing balm and cleansing oil sometimes. Cause there are days when like you feel like super dry and there are days, uh, if you wear a lot of makeup, Cleansing balm might not be enough. Like, I know Vanilla Co's cleansing balm, uh, they don't cleanse, like, impressively. So, um, you can use that if you wear a light makeup, but if you use, like, a, a lot of makeup on a heavy day, or if you are outside for so long, you know, cause the dust, then I think you can use your cleansing oils too. Same concern. But, and I, I, I also think that it's okay to own like three or four different cleanser product, cleansing products too. Yeah.
So okay, okay, my、uh, boss is here. <laughs> Harang is here. It's it's it's, it's time for her lunch. I can't bring her lunch time again. So I gotta go, girls. But、um, hopefully it was helpful. Some、uh, by my bad, I'm sea bar soap cleanser, but how to how to toner. It is free essence, beauty of juice and serum, sick cocoa. You guys know more than I do. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Jesse, I'm so sorry.、Um, I have to go. But、um, uh, if if the products that you have been using haven't really caused that much trouble, I think you should definitely stick with it, right? Um. Yeah. So she's she's right here. So um. I <laughs> But girls, I'll be back on Thursday at 4 p.m. Korea time. And Jesse, if you are okay with the cleanser product, and they did, if they didn't cause you any troubles, that's already great enough. We can't really expect the cleansing products to do well on our face. So if they haven't caused any troubles, then just stick with it. The best vitamin C is Obagi from Japan, and that's good to know. <laughs> that's good to know. That's good to know. Okay, organic zoo. All right, everyone has a different perspective and opinions, and hopefully, I was helpful. Okay, we'll see you on Thursday, ladies. Hopefully, it was helpful. So sad that all the messages will go away, but yeah, Jesse, I'll write down your name. Screenshot. Screenshot. Ah, so sad. Okay. Okay, you guys will wait. Okay, we'll see you on Thursday. I'll study more and come back with the better contents. Okay, thank you, girls. Have a wonderful day or night. I'll see you guys. Thank you.